The seven wonders of the world, forget about them, we're in Colombia. Here we have the seven wonders of Colombia. Welcome to Zipaquira. Zipaquira is the salt cathedral. It's about one hour drive from Bogota and it's a monument. It's an impressive construction. What they actually did, they built a huge cathedral within an active salt mine and today it's open to the public and some years ago when the Colombians decided on their seven wonders uh, we have a separate vid video with that with Sebastian the Sal Cathedral was voted as the wonder number one in Colombia and today we're here um, outside you find statues you find uh, climbing and bull riding you have some some stuff to entertain yourself and then you have tours they start every 15 minutes or 30 minutes they're in in, in. the tours are in english in spanish so let's see what we're gonna find within the salt mine come on come with me We're here at the entrance of the salt mine. I'm here with the uh, local guide Andres and his English is perfect. Also for people who speak other languages like German, Japanese, Chinese and like eight languages you have those little uh, machines that you can put in your ears and they will give you the tour in your language if it's one of those eight languages. But with Andres we'll have the tour in English so we'll have no issues of understanding. Yes, of course. Uh, welcome. Uh, welcome to Sipakira, welcome to this salt mine that I want to share this place. Uh, come with me to see everything, the first wonder in, uh, the wonder in Colombia that I want to share this uh, mine. We walk to see this uh, handcraft and we are going to see this beautiful section below the earth. This is 180 meters below the earth or uh, 590 feet. That's the lowest point to see this beautiful construction in the mine. So, Perfect. Please. Welcome to this mine. Welcome to this place. I want I want to show you this uh, beautiful handcraft in the church. Please, let's go. go. So sometimes the ceiling is quite low, uh, it's a little bit higher, you have the stalactites and stalactites. It's growing everywhere, the salt is coming from the side, from the ceiling, it's very cool. The entrance is just amazing, you walk a little bit downwards and you have those lights, sometimes on the left side, sometimes on the right side. Here on the ceiling you will see that, that looks great. The cathedral is divided into four parts. The first shows the 14 stations of the cross that represent the stations that Jesus had to go through before his crucifixion. Then we go through the dome which represents God's union with mankind and the universe. That's why it's blue. Then we arrive to the choir where we see the archangel that guards the cathedral and we see the biggest cross underneath the earth. So if you're going to bring your camera, I hope it's a very good camera because the light in most of the South Cathedral is quite difficult. Um, there's not much light actually in some places. It's good for taking pictures, uh, but in most places It's very difficult. So you can see, this is a huge tension. 
I hope you can see that. So you see all the way. Those are like 50 meters or 100 meters with the huge cross by the wall. After that, we go to the narthex where we find the main three doors to enter the cathedral. So, this is a key section in the salt mine. Um, the visitors have to decide which way they take. Can you give some explanation about that? Yes, this is now part of the narthex. That's a name for this place. Narthex is the maze from this church. This is just the opening of the cathedral. We have a special three gates where people can choose the heaven, hell, or purgatory. This is part of the, the this decision. This is just a one choice to come in and through this ways in the mind. So we can we can go through this way to come in in a church. That's one way to come in heaven. As always to your right. That's the always a good way for you if you want to choose heaven. You go on a, go straight in heaven in your right. The positive way that's the people to choose hell. Hell. This is for the worst people. That's for the worst people can this uh, decide to choose walk down. This is one 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 way to coming in. This is one way to coming out. Narthex represents an, an the Roman word. This is just a entrance for people get a purification. Let's go to get an entrance. What do you prefer? Do you prefer heaven? Do you prefer hell? Or do you prefer this kind of this kind of way? To get a purification. Which one is the most fun? Uh, people can people can say uh, the hell because this this is now funny. There's more ladies. They have more the more. They have drugs, probably they have probably the best the more, uh, marketing uh, department. <laughs> <laughs> Valentina, where should we go? Hell. 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 We go. We go <laughs> through hell. So okay, let's go. Let's, let's go. go through hell. And the first option to choose that uh, represents heaven. So we have heaven. <coughs> yes. This is not a <coughs> The purgatory represents the way of purification. Purification? And you left represents hell. And hell. Yeah. This is your choice. But remember, this is just a symbol for the cathedral. The columnar yep. to ch choose this place. To come in the cathedral. That, that's a uh, idea to make the station to get a purpose in the cathedral to come in in the church. That's your choice. So please, come in and help. That's a good option for us to get a funny way today. <laughs> good. Let's go. Well, let's go. That, that's it. That was the way the stairs through hell. <laughs> uh, I would say a walk in the park. Yes. Very easy. All right. Well, we are going to see the lowest point in the mine. It's 180 meters below the earth, or 580 feet. The lowest point to see the church. Yeah. This is enough. The most beautiful place. Oh, wow. Now you have to see this. I will give you a show of this place. So Andreas, we finished the tour and thank you very much for this awesome tour with these great explanations about uh, Sal Cathedral. So what information do visitors actually need to get here? Uh, this, uh, this is so easy to, to arrive in Sipakira. This is so easy to come 
and then we have these different transportations by car. But if you want to to mount your bike from Bogota to this part, to this part, we have a roads. It's easy, easy to go and see Paquita by bus, taxis, or helicopter. We have new attractions in the mine, and it's to give this. Uh, visual landscapes to everybody, everyone to show more about Sipakira. But you come to this uh, city, the salt city from Sipakira, and enjoy all this attraction below the earth. But don't forget, this is one of these attractions made on salt, temples and the mine below the earth. So, car, bus, train, helicopter, lots of options to get here. And the tours, uh, you have guides in Spanish and English, right? Yes. Uh, we do we do tours in English and Spanish and every hour we have a specific time to go in the mine with a tour guide. Okay. And how long is a tour? That takes a one hour and a half, but it's dependent if you want to be more time in the church, if you want to be more time in this cathedral, it takes two hours or if you want to be three hours. This is yours, your time in mind. So two to three hours visitors should plan to for the visit. Yeah, so we have many attractions to do. The basic, the basic tour is just one hour and a half mm -hmm. to do in the mine. So it's just we do. Because we have attractions as a mine tour. Because the miner tour is to go and experience to be a miner. You get a helmet and a flashlight and you go and extraction of a salt. You get the museums, you get a climbing wall, so this is now another, uh, another attractive. And we have this archaeologist museum to see more about the indigenous. But we have a mint, many, many parts to see for, for, whole, to, uh, for all this day, if you want to full days in a mine, you can, get, you can get all the tour, eight hours. Okay. Or the basic tour, one hour and a half. Okay. And the information about the prices, the different tours, attractions, the plans you can do, this is all on the homepage? We, we can find a homepage. There's uh, different tours that's free, uh, free entrance with a guide, a tour guide, or if you want prefer this audio guide, we have uh, two options. Mm -hmm. But here we said a physical, a physical guide to explain all, to get more experiences in this area. We have uh, the, fun, the, on the fun page or the, on the web site from, mm -hmm. from the city, you can find this, this prize, it's different coast or different uh, cities to see in, in this cathedral. So okay, we have a park so, well. so we will give you the link for the website where you find the information, I guess, in Spanish or also in English? Uh, also in English. All, uh, also in English. So you find all the information on, on the website below in English and, of course, Spanish. And do we need to give any more information or...? Yes. Come and visit this place. This is great to see an unforgettable day. If you want to see this place, come on. Let's go. This is just enjoy. So, everybody come to see Bakia to take a three year old soul. And have a great tour with the days. Thanks a lot, man. Frank, nice to meet you and enjoy. It was a pleasure. Uh, it's my pleasure for, you, for me. Thank you. And what we found here is a real surprise. I think in the Sol Cathedral in Sipakira, there's probably the most beautiful spa you find in Colombia or even in South America. It's just amazing. Um, right now I'm in the middle of salt, so I had to take off my shoes, my socks, and it's quite a good feeling. And they have the whole plan with massage and everything about salt, and it's carved into this. I can't even explain it, it's so beautiful. I'm overwhelmed. We'll just show you around and then you can judge yourself and you might combine your visit with a little spa treatment in this unbelievable place we just discovered. some stairs to get the world the way up but I will try it the hard way. So let's find out if I have talent to climb or
So up there is a red button. I have to hit it to ring the bell. And if I ring the bell, I might get a free beer or not. So we just hope you have to get uh, take the left one because this is for little kin little children. So that's for me. Y para mí. Y mi cerveza. El premio. El premio se lo da. Oh. Yeah, ladies. This is the end of the tour and I climbed the wall. I want to say thank you to all the staff and the organization to the Salas Cathedral team. I invite everybody to come here. Uh, it's a great plan, half a day, or you can even spend a day with the spa and everything. If you like that video, I'm happy if you subscribe. Leave me any comments if you want to know and learn more about whatever in Colombia. And hope to see you soon in Colombia. Yours, Colombia Frank.